Morning in the Israel Gaza war, the situation on the Gaza Strip growing more dire as we learn more about the Hamas attack. Power now a potential issue as the energy ministry reports its sole power plant has run out of fuel, forcing it to shut down after Israel cut off supplies. That will leave only generators to power the region. The blackouts come as Israel has decided to block fuel shipments into the Gaza Strip as part of what the government has called a complete siege. Israel also continued launching airstrikes across Gaza, demolishing entire neighborhoods as it vows to fight back after the Hamas coordinated attack this past Saturday. The U.S. has thrown its support behind Israel. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin reiterated that at a meeting on Ukraine in Brussels earlier this morning. The United States stands firmly with Israel as, as it defends itself and its citizens from this vile Hamas terrorist assault. And we will stay in close contact with our Israeli partners and ensure that they have what they need to protect their country. More than 2,200 people have been killed so far. That's on both sides of the conflict. Meanwhile, there are new details 